And when you begin to put the dots together, the dots really do lead to where you are now. We do this wonderful exercise at our office called the river of life. And in that river of life, you draw a river and you couldn't, and you, 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 you examine maybe a season of your life, or you can do your whole life, pretty long river, or you can do a season, you can do a time period, exact, whatever. But on both sides of the river, you acknowledge the good things, you acknowledge the difficulties, but you also acknowledge who were the people that got you through the flow, right? And the whole point of the river of life is to do what we're talking about tonight, make the connections and understand that we are not where we are today by happenstance. It's not serendipitous. There really is a link, right? The links are there. And what made today so powerful is is like um, is like those links becoming very illuminated, right? Like they came alive, um, you know, kind of like fluorescent lights you know, popping off in my brain. It was like, oh, that's why this happened and this and that and that and that. And now everything connects and now it makes sense, right? Um, and, and, and the beauty of today also, the other part that was so great is people from my church where I pastor now that I've started, that we started uh, five, uh, 10 years ago, almost will be 10 years next year, they got a chance to see where I came from as it relates to where my early spiritual formation happened as their pastor. So now that adds another layer of understanding, but also context to who I am and why I am the way I am and why I preach the way I preach and what why are things important to me the way they are important to me because now they have another layer of context. And I want to invite you to think about your context, right? What is your context? And again, this is not about Christianity. This is not about Second Baptist Church as a religious space or place. Or it's not about you having to be a person of faith.